dominant eye assessment is uh, very important in manipulative therapy. One ancient Chinese physician stated that expert clinicians can identify the clinical problem of the patient by just observation and mediocre by interrogation and average ones by palpation. So, it is very important to have a very precise observation to identify the clinical problem of the patient and for a precise observation it is very important to identify the dominant eye. So, this is the method to identify for the dominant eye. The therapist makes a loop between the thumb and the index finger of one hand and makes a similar loop with the other hand and overlaps it. While overlapping, focuses one object inside the gap. It is just precisely overlapped. It is not overlapped in such a way that it blocks the vision. There is one object which is focused in this gap with both the eyes open. Both the eyes are open and then one object is focused. The therapist then closes the left eye. Then open it, then close for your right eye, open it. Closing one particular eye, one can observe the object which is focused just shifts from the observed point and the eye with which when closed the object shifts apparently that particular eye is the dominant eye. For me, when I close my right eye, the object which I focused shifts apparently. Object does not shift, but it is the apparent shift in the vision. So, for me, when I am closing my right eye as the object shifts, therefore, I am right eye dominant. So, whenever I have to do the observation, I have to precisely observe with my right eye which is dominant. Whichever part I am observing, that particular part, I have to place my eye in the middle of the part for which I am doing the observation. And if I have to observe somebody which is lying on the bed, then I have to stand in such a way that my dominant eye, which is the right side, should be towards midline of the couch, if I have to observe for somebody who is in supine lying position.